Dave Hill, North America's foremost pedal authority, global ambassador for Earthquaker devices, and guy who's pretty fucking sweet in general. Today I'm here to tell you all about the brand new Earthquaker devices. He's Amidas, Fuzz Sustainer Pedal. Thank you. Anyway, when the folks over at Earthquaker Devices called me up and asked if I would do a demo for the brand new pedal, I was like, yeah, right, why don't you call me back when you're ready to have the greatest pedal demo of all time? And I just hung up the phone and went and did some cool shit, I don't even know. And then they ended up calling back right away and they're like, we're ready. And I was like, okay, like, send it over, I guess. This pedal is based on Wata from Boris's uh, Elk BM sustainer pedal, which is like a super rare and valuable pedal. There really aren't that many in, in existence in the whole world. Basically, the only people that have them are Wata has one. I have like five or six of them just around the house. I like to break out at parties. And then the only other person that has one is football's Terry Bradshaw. And you didn't hear it from me, but I heard that he doesn't even know where to put the pedal correctly in his pedal chain. You know, it just goes to show you, you can lead a team to Super Bowl victory, but it doesn't mean you know shit about where a pedal goes in your pedal chain. You know, we're all human, I guess is the lesson there. It's a really funny story how this pedal came about. Actually, I was out getting wings like I always do with Jamie Stillman from Earthquaker Devices. Uh, Bonnie Tyler, uh, Olympic figure skating great, Nancy Kerrigan and Bishop Desmond Tutu. And we're all just hanging out, having the best time laughing. Yeah, like, try this wing, it's really hot. And, um, and then Jamie was like, hey you guys, I want, I'm trying to think of like a really cool new collaboration pedals to do. And I was like, well you should totally uh, do a pedal with Wata from, from Boris. And he's like, that's a really great idea. And I was like, yeah, I know I come up with incredible ideas all the time without even really trying. So she actually sent her pedal, the Elf BM <laughs> pedal, uh, all the way from Japan. It was like a real pain in the ass because it was like a super long line at the post office there. And it took like 4,000 stamps to get it from Japan to Akron, Ohio. And on the way, like it actually went to the post office in Toledo and it was just like, sitting on some guy's desk for a really long time. He was eating like one of those disgusting wrap sandwiches that like has the avocado in it and makes it all soggy and it's like dripping on the box. Anyway, the point is it eventually got to Akron and Jamie made this super sweet pedal. So here it is. Hell? Get out of here. It's annoying. Let's take a look at some of the features close up. One thing I really like about the Hizamitas pedal is like, even though I, I live uh, the pedal lifestyle, also lead an on the go lifestyle that makes it really hard to figure out what knobs do. So I appreciate the fact that the Hizamitas pedal only has three knobs and, um, and they're super cool knobs. There's V knob, that's for volume. Anyone can tell you that. There's the S knob, that stands for sexy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know what it stands for. And then there's a tone knob. And the cool thing about the tone knob is normally a tone knob, when you turn it clockwise, it gets more trouble. Turn it counterclockwise, it gets more bassy. But on the Hizamitas pedal, it's the opposite. So this way, when some jerk tries to mess with your pedal and be like, hey, Dave, I just turned your treble down on your on your Hizamitas pedal, I'll be like, joke's on you, bitch. You just turned my treble up. And also, this is a single occupancy restaurant. I don't even know what you're doing in here, honestly. Another cool thing about this pedal is that it has uh, two jackalopes on it. A lot of people say the jackalope is a made up animal, but I can tell you from experience that it's a real animal and it's extremely violent and amorous. And I've got the scars in the restraining order to prove it. The Hizamitas pedal also has a really cool uh, purple light on it when you turn it on and it's like super powerful and glowing. The other day I was ripping some sweet solos and then I decided to go to bed and I left the pedal on by accident and then I woke up in the middle of the night and my whole house was glowing with this purple light and I got up and it was like something out of Close Encounters or something. I wandered into the next room, the Hizamitas pedal was on so I just picked up my guitar and started ripping some sweet solos 
and all the pain and anger that was inside me just slowly fell away. And that's how I learned that the Hezimetus pedal also heals you of your personal traumas. And that, as far as I know, that it's the only fuzz pedal capable of doing that. To see those fuckers at Boss try that shit, I've broken up a lot of marriages. Just playing sweet licks with the Hezimetus pedal, honestly. Not proud of it, just telling facts. All right, well, we've certainly done a lot of talking. Why don't we see what this pedal can really do? <laughs> here's my clean sound. And here's with the He's the Midas pedal. Thank you. Of course, the best way to test the pedal out is with a drum machine that um, all the best amps come with, like this one. Here we go. And there you have it. The brand new He's a pedal from Earthquaker Devices. I'm Dave Hill. Thank you. You're welcome. Get, get out of here. Ugh.